hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well today in this video we will learn about the concept of dimensions in the dynamics 365 business central okay well uh, to start with dimensions uh, first of all we must have to understand that what exactly the purpose of dimension is in this uh, business central software so to start with uh, let me click on the search button and type here as dimensions and this is the existing list of the dimensions which we have created in our system okay so uh, i was uh, talking about the definition of dimensions okay so dimension is something uh, you can understand it as a tool or a utility in the system which gives you an additional insight information of your financial transactions okay i repeat it again that it is a you can uh, treat this dimension as a utility or a tool which gives you an additional insight information of your financial transactions okay so when I'm saying that it gives you additional view of your data or additional information, this means that you must have to attach this dimension with your transactions. Okay. So the thing for uh, if I give you a basic example, then uh, let us see this uh, department dimension available here. Okay. And if I go to its values that what are the available departments in my Kronos company then you will find out that there are three departments are currently mentioned in the dimension values of department code so this means that the Kronos company is currently having three departments which are administration production and sales all right so uh, this is uh, one way of adding the dimensions in the system now let's assume if you don't add the dimension or if you don't use the concept of dimension in your ERP and in case you have these departments in your company and each department is having their unique transactions or sometimes the common transaction which involves one or two or multiple departments then how you gonna uh, charge the expenses or any related transaction of these departments and how you analyze that under one ledger right so this means that you have to create separate general ledgers for administration department for production department and for the sales department right in order to actually identify the total expenses incurred by each department right now to avoid that thing and to create separate general ledgers for each of your department available in your company we can do what we can do is that we can make the use of department uh, we can make the use of dimensions and in the dimension we can create whatever uh, like department or whatever uh, analysis you want to do uh, with your with your departments or with your anything on which you want to categorize your financial data you can create that group here now for example uh, we have uh, if you if we go by the simple example uh, we have created a department here and Okay, let me explain you with uh, by creating a new dimension code here. Okay, so what I good what I'll do is that uh, I'll click on new or you can directly select the uh, last blank line available. And uh, let's say I have I am running I am running one custom code transactions uh, custom code information uh, in each department and I want to add that custom information in each of my financial transactions okay so I created one dimension code here and which is like custom and I name it as custom only and the code caption is also the same custom code 
regarding the filter caption also it is showing here that when you want to use this custom dimension in your filters the caption will be shown there as custom filter okay so this is all what we have to do in creating the dimensions now the next part is that after creating a dimension code in the system we must have to provide and input some values related to that dimensions okay so to do that click on the dimensions button and go to the dimension values all right so this is the dimension values of custom right now nothing is uh, mentioned here what now we have to input some values based on the data which we are having okay so let's say i have a, uh, let's say i am i have a manufacturing company who deals in uh, building who deals in manufacturing uh, motorcycles and uh, spare parts so what i'll do is i'll create one code as motorcycle and second one is spare parts okay so I have created two dimension values for my custom dimension. So this suggests that uh, I can add this dimension in my financial data or the transactions so that I can easily conclude that uh, how much expenses I incurred while manufacturing the motorcycle and how much expenses I incurred while manufacturing the spare parts. Okay. So this is how we can create a dimension values here about the dimension value type available here uh, you can either use uh, these of the options it is similar to the chart of accounts all right for example if you want to create the heads and the several categories under motorcycle or under spare parts then we can create it like a begin total and we can make the use of heading otherwise if you want to use the same code uh, for posting then we can we must have to select the default dimension value type which is standard okay rest of the things are uh, we don't need to actually uh, look out for in this dimension values now uh, this is uh, another one column which is available which uh, here is blocked so uh, which is easy, easily explained the easily uh, like uh, you can understand the use of this block is that for example if I place the check mark here this means that I cannot further use this uh, motorcycle value against my custom dimension because it is blocked okay so this is the use of this blocked column and uh, this is how we have successfully now created the dimension values for my custom dimension okay now I can use this custom dimension in my financial data related to the if I am for example if I input any journal then I can assign this custom dimension if I if I input any uh, master data or if I input or if I post any sales invoice or the purchase invoice then also I can assign this dimension in my transactions okay so let's say uh, to show you this things uh, let me create one uh, sales invoice in the system so for that let me click here and go to the sales invoices and if I click on new let me input let me select the customer as this one and let me click on type as item select the item number here as 1001 input the quantity here as 1 so now I have successfully uh, created one sales invoice the next step is that I want to attach one custom dimension which I have created in the earlier step with this sales invoice okay so to do that 
what we have to do is we must have to search for the dimension which is I believe is available in the invoice function click on the dimensions now see by default uh, these dimensions automatically assigned to my sales invoice I will explain you that how come these dimensions are auto assigned in with my sales invoices in the next part of the video but first thing is that first in this video let us learn that how to assign the newly created dimension in your sales invoice okay so select the last line available here click on this button and select your dimension which is custom okay and in the dimension value code you have created two dimension values for your custom dimension so select this motorcycle dimension okay now you have attached this custom dimension with your sales invoice number 1004 okay click on close it is uh, asking me that you have changed the dimension and do you want to update the lines I will say yes okay so this means that now my lines will also having the same dimensions which I have mentioned in my header to check that you can click on the dimension and see my custom dimension is now linked with the sales line also now the next step is to post the sales invoice yes now it is uh, working on to post the sales invoice in the system and it will further create the customer ledgers and the general ledgers okay so now it is asking me that do you want to open the poster invoice I will say yes and let's navigate the posted sales invoice okay where it is the navigate function find entries when you click on the find entries this will open up the ledgers which are attached with this sales invoice and now let us check the GL entry and this is my GL entry and in case now you want to see that whether your dimensions are attached to these ledgers or not so how we can check that click on this dimension and see now this MC custom dimension is linked with your general ledgers and it will clearly tell you that how much expenses you have incurred while manufacturing the motorcycle in your ERP okay so this is the use of the dimension concept in the business central and in a simple fashion I have explained you that what we need to perform and when the steps we need to perform in creating the new dimension and the dimension values and how we can attach that new dimension in your processes okay in the next part of this video because uh, see the dimension concept is very big concept and it further uh, having multiple functionalities so which is not possible to cover every aspect of the dimension in a single video so uh, we will continue with the dimension concept in the next part of the video where we will learn some more uh, functionalities of the dimension so till that uh, I request you to Please subscribe to my channel if you like my video and please hit the like button also. Thank you so much for watching the video.